this is really one of the great stories of the Bible. I, I'm not sure that I can think of any story where there is a greater um, experience of, of contrition and repenting of sin than in this particular story. Um, and we didn't get the first part that we get in another part of the year where Jonah was being called by God to go to Nineveh and preach to them that in 40 days, 40 days and they were going to be destroyed as a city. Sounds like the Ukraine, my goodness. And so um, Joel said, uh, Jonah said, uh-uh, I do not want to go because they'll hate me if I go to preach this. So he got on a boat and went in the opposite direction of Nineveh. And so a big storm happened on the sea that, that according to the scriptures, God made happen. And then the people on the boat said, what's going on? Somebody here offended a God. It must be. So when Jonah confessed, they threw him over the, the boat, over the side. And then a, a whale ate him. But it didn't eat him. It just swallowed him. And for three days and three nights, he's in the, the belly of the whale, and then the whale vomited him up on the shore of Nineveh, and he did not, so he couldn't escape God. He said, okay, I'll do it, God, I'll do it. He starts to walk through Nineveh. It's a three-day journey to get through the city. He, he didn't even finish one day, and everybody repented. And word goes up to the king, and he repented. He took all, all, all of his royal robes off and put on sackcloth and ashes and began to repent. I, I, I don't know another story that is so profound. And I think that for us to get this story one week into Lent, from Ash Wednesday to this Wednesday, and we hear repentance. People saying, I have sinned, God, I am sorry, I lay down before you in repentance. Please forgive me. That's the spirit of Lent. So tonight, in these stories of repentance and stories of people changing their hearts and changing their lives and accepting contrition before God and saying they want to be better, what, what could be better than to hear this story in the first week of Lent? You know, again, I... Our, our news station, well, the, the news stations I listen to, there's only one news story on right now. It's Ukraine. And I, I say to myself, it, it is amazing to me. I mean, I'm trying to imagine if I were Putin, how could one man, one man make decisions that could destroy so many people's lives? have millions of people leave their homes and go across borders to a foreign land, have hundreds, probably thousands that will die. How could it be? You watch the news and you see these old women crying, sobbing. There's no food, there's no medicine, there's no water. One man could make that decision. Wow. So when I hear a story of repentance, that one man, he did not want to go and preach what God was saying because he was afraid, but he, God put him there and he went. And in that one voice, a huge, huge city began to repent and turn their lives around and the city was saved. Wow. In one case, one man can destroy everything. In another case, one man can give words that would heal a whole city. Where are we in this how do we use our words? Do they bring life, hope, a better future? Or do they just destroy? And we are asked by God to make a decision. Who do we want to be and how do we want to be? Please stand. Let's bring our intentions to the Father who has made us his sons and daughters.